And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we've got a new game for you. It is Historic European Old Towns. 3,924 handpicked locations from historic old towns all over Europe. Enjoy the traditional architecture of Europe. I love the, um, the different architecture throughout Europe. It's one of the reasons why I kind of watch and look and observe for longer periods of time especially in European based rounds. I don't know what it is. It's just the architecture. Maybe it's from the Middle Ages. Maybe it's uh, castles, that sort of stuff. But in any case, old towns, happy to, happy digital vacation says here. Maybe this is my vacation to Europe for the Europe. But in any case, we're going to do this game as a three-minute round time. Uh, moving, panning, zooming, allow the play along link in the description below. Hope everybody out there is doing well. If you're doing well, hit the like button. We'd really appreciate it. And here we go. We've got the... I would say the Alps, but we have an Alpine location, an interesting uh, log cabin, uh, which is always pretty cool. You folks can find log cabins in the United States, but this, I mean, first, my first instinct is this is Andorra, just from the, I don't know if this is called fascia board here. Um, I think it's fascia board, but, but the roof, right? And we've got the stone buildings and we've got the pine trees with the rock rocky outcroppings this feels like well i would say an old town in andorra but uh historic old town uh, i got nice flowers here which always seems to be the case no we're in switzerland so this is not andorra but uh switzerland solo vetro so we're probably close to italy perhaps maybe not nice flower boxes there in the house snow up high um but yeah traditional swiss i guess old town is what we're looking for um yeah that's look at that beauty there the mountains the old town um centrale electrica So there's the historical old town and historic European old town. So it'd be cool to figure out or find out how old these towns are. I should probably be doing a video off of this game and learning more about the area that we're in. But for time's sake, i got to play this game. We've got a minute left. Achtung. Danger. So we've got German, Italian, I think. And uh, let's see here. What do we have on the sign? Fusio. East. Okay, so I think we're in the border area. Um... I guess we could be anywhere. Um, and with two seconds, I'm not really going to find this one in time. Okay, not too bad. 17 miles away. And we were in the town, I guess, of San Carlo. Um, I guess that's the town. Grotto Pozak. Pozask. Um, La Vizara. So we're in the Alps. So I was right. Um, what is this thing? Is this like a chairlift? What is that? That's going... Neva. Is that a chairlift going from one side to the other? The March Horn, not the Matterhorn, the March Horn. But yeah, if you've been to this part of the world, if you've been to this town, love to, love to hear from you. But uh, yeah, I wonder how old or historic, what's the history behind that town? If you've got any insight on this purple house, which is pretty interesting, fascinating. This looks like a pretty pretty unique town in uh, Group Gruppe Scolari. 
is a, fr a French town, maybe? I don't know. Um, Belgium? Not sure on this. Okay, so that looks like the French font. Two minutes, 22 seconds. The National Museum. Okay, automobiles. And Boulanger. The D four two six. The D four two six. Okay, so France and uh, I don't know if this is <laughs> this could be anywhere, I guess. Um, Doesn't look like there's any rationale behind the numbering of the D's. And there's rabbits, bunnies, uh, we got a church, the purple house. Um, it's interesting. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's water. So, thirty three seconds, D four. I don't think we're in Normandy though, but I guess we could be. <sighs> we're not even close to that. Not in Strasbourg, but we're in the town of Meist. Meistratzheim. Meistratzheim. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's an interesting historic old town. We get off to the next one. France didn't really get that one there. Oh boy, now we got a um, a photosphere and the clock tower. Um, this game's not going the way that I want it to, to, to go. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. There's not many words to find. Not much other than the architecture. I guess it's the point of the game figure out where this architecture is from. I'm guessing we're probably in the same area. Um, but again, I'm not sure. Um, I feel maybe a little further south, maybe in this Pontarlier. Something like that. What do we think? I think this could be a good spot. Uh, I'm going to go for it with a minute and 34. Why not? France again. And not too bad. 79 miles away. So I'll take that one. Even though it was in Switzerland. It's in the town of Olten. And I, I'm guessing some of you are going to be a, a visit or you live in these areas. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the architecture guess on that one. With no words to really go off of. Um, but yeah, it felt like the same general area as the last round, um, just based on the architecture again. And there's probably architects that hopefully there's an architect out there that's watching this channel 
And what's the different architecture? How can I, that's the one thing I'd love to know is like the clues of the different eras and the different locations. Obviously, things would be different. You find more, what I would say, brick oriented stuff in this part, in this part of Europe, right? Like this part of the world, there's like brick, brick buildings, older brick. Um, and I don't even know if that makes any sense to anyone when I say brick. But I mean, it's an old traditional, I guess, English style brick seems to, to pop up a little bit in Southern Netherlands and Belgium. I don't know as much as in France, um, but just different architecture. Again, I'm kind of speaking out of my range here, but anyway, like this is brick, right? So this is probably Netherlands, I think. I, I you know it's Dienst, uh, is that Thursday? I don't know. So this is the brick I was talking about. It's funny how this stuff pops up because to me, this is the brick that I see uh, like on the East Coast of the United States, you see in England, it's the English style, what I would call English style brick, and even like the way that this is, anyway, uh, enough of that. So yeah, this is Netherlands. So this, I think this is Netherlands. You got a bike. They're trying to throw us off with, is that the Italian flag? I mean, I don't know if they, anyway, um, And you know what? We can move. So I'm stuck here. I'm just looking at this. But yeah, Netherlands. There we are. And this is the brick I'm talking about. So maybe we're southern part of Netherlands. But again, I see this and it's probably someone's going to say this is everywhere. This style of brick, again, I see on sidewalks at homes through the United States, on homes, townhomes, homes in the east, primarily east coast of the United States. Um, cobblestone streets. What is this? What are these things? interesting types of trees, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this this historic European old town in Netherlands, this is what I like. I like, there's, we talk about brick, right? I literally talk about brick and there's brick everywhere. There's brick on the roads, brick in the buildings, brick on the churches, brick, 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 brick. <laughs> um, okay. Centrum, can I move? Metpel and Schlossport. So let's take a look. Monster. I didn't realize there was a town called Monster in the Netherlands. Um, I guess this game's more are we finding the locations or are we more about wowing ourselves and looking at how things are made. <laughs> Sorry, this is just a little crazy today. Um, I guess I guess we've got to be in this area. I, I'm thinking, and I'm probably wrong on this. Um, but part of this is just exploring the different types of architecture. Maybe we'll get the Hague on this one. Um, the Hook of Holland. Anyway, I know this is not it, but. This little banner flag. We'll keep it there for now and see how far off we actually are. And we were pretty far off, 87 miles. Uh, we were in the town of Zwartzluz. 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 I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm giving my best attempt. Um, yeah, 87 miles, 39, 79. So, again, if you're from the Netherlands, which I know some of you watch are, uh, anything unique about this from a historic standpoint uh you guys are great guys and gals you always uh give a lot of helpful information in the comments down below to everybody and here's a traditional what we would call southern germany maybe on this one i not southern germany maybe this is anyway um just feels that way the homes the style like this you know what the architecture is called but we or what the style is. Um, we're probably in, we're probably near the border. I'm gonna guess near the border. Ha, huh, look at that, an old Jeep Cherokee. I actually had a car like this once in a blue moon ago. There's the guy, that's probably his car. Um, yeah, I had this when I first drove. 
uh, in the United States. Give you some insight. That was the old box Jeep Cherokee Lembach passage. So this is like, I was going to say, this could be like Luxembourg. Um, let's see. What do we think? I'm not sure. Another old gentleman there. A lot of wood burnt, being burnt in the fires and a nice winter's morn in where? Not sure. Not sure on this one. Love to get a, some type of signage, which I'm not getting there. Let's go back a minute 22. Which way do we go? Let's go to find out here. And we went that way because there's the Jeep. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This has got to be Luxembourg. Mm. Nope. It is not. It is France. France. The D27. The D27. And there's one for the roundabout. We got the French flag, the European flag, and the D3. Okay, so we are near Germany. D7. D2, Gamsheim, Strasbourg. Where are you, D3? Okay, there we are. They were in the town of Leimbach. Heimbach. Sorry, Heimbach. Heimbach in north east France. Not too far away from Germany. So we've got a couple rounds in, in that area. Uh, what do we got? We got 19,630. Didn't break 20,000 point barrier, but we got the Netherlands. We got a bunch here in this area. I don't know if this was just a historic, historical European old towns just kind of in this area, but um, there we are. Netherlands, a bunch in France. I guess a cup. No, one in France, two in France, two in Switzerland. So there you go. Historic. European old towns. If you've got any requests for any games you want me to play, let me know in the comments down below or send me an email at all over the map23 at gmail.com. And with that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.